Hello, this is Kiss Blue, and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network! Well, it didn't peak, so I guess we'll go with that. Um, so, we're fighting Fireman. Again. I was walking around the net area one, and I ran into this asshole. Because he does that. After you uh, beat the version 2 of the Navis, you can find their version 3 wandering around different areas of the net. Uh, and what area they're in will vary from Navi to Navi, but, well, they're there. Oh, I could have hit him with my sword really easily there. Oh well, I still didn't hit you. Ha ha! Oh. Oh, I missed. Mm. Oh, okay. That was the fire tower. Um. Hmm. What? I didn't know he could do that. Huh. Go figure. Well, just... there we go. <laughs> well, I got hit, which is unfortunate, I guess. But, I mean, it would have been cool to do this without getting hit. For sure. Oh, okay, did not get hit. That was a close one, though. What is he doing? Okay. I see. Ha <laughs> Uh, roll won't quite kill him. So... Oh, well. Oh, no, that that was a that was a fail. Ah, now Roller will kill him. Okay then. And victory. That took a while, so my rank is probably not gonna be great. I did get hit once as well. Could it... Okay, I feel like I deserve more than 500 zenny. Now, against the version 3s, you don't get a chip from them automatically. You need to actually have a decent busting rank. I thought that they gave more money than that, though. Uh, okay, so. Now that, now that I've shown that off, um, I'm still about 5,000 zenny short. So I will meet you again once I have that Zenny in Internet Area 2. So see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, we're back. I'm still a little bit short from my 15k Zenny that I'm after, but we're close enough that I'm going to head to the next area. Uh, this is where we fought Stone Man, which I just came here basically for a point of reference for where we're going. It's a little, it's a little bit faster than going all the way back. Aha! Except you're still alive. But not anymore! Yeah. Um, okay, so from here, we just want to go down here and straight up here and basically right across where that platform is broken there. Uh, although, is there, no, there's nothing down here. This was a waste of time. I mean, not this area in general, just these specific uh, 
detour I just took. Fireman is just... I mean, Fireman's chip is okay, but it's not bad, but it's not great either. But it's the one of the first chips you get that is good for clearing, or for multi-killing, which is really nice. Okay, and here we are. Yep, and we have that, fortunately. Welcome to Internet Area Scilab. Uh, wait a second. Okay, okay. I, I had to make sure I was look, looking at, at the right map. Um, we can now connect two cells, which is nice. Because, you know, this is a total death trap, uh, but it's nice. But no, the reason we're here... Oh hey, level 2 metars and level 2 cannons. Now, these metars... Oh, okay, well, that was really poor of me. These metars will block... And I believe that cannon is faster than the pre ones in the previous area. Fortunately, this is nothing we haven't handled before. But it is certainly more dangerous. Also, pressing the, the correct button always helps. But we still just got a regular guard. Oh hey! Shockwave P! Hello! Yes I do. So, this is what I've been saving all my money for. Um... Me Mega Cannon is a level 2 cannon. In fact, I think it's dropped by those cannons that we fought just now. Uh, Hammer's the same as before. Wide Sword is Wide Sword. But, wood armor. Here's what this does. Uh, we can go in here. Uh, wait. I didn't actually buy it. Well, look at, look at this. Wood. Power doubles defense. Ineffective versus fire attacks. Yes. So, here's what this does. We can go in here, and we can equip it, and if we wanted to, we could take it off. The way Now, we'll take half damage from all attacks, unless they are fire attacks, in which case we'll take double damage instead. And there's different elemental armor, but wood armor is the first and cheapest to get. So this should help my survivability immensely. <laughs> Which is pretty good, I think. Uh, oh hey, you are a mini bomber. Um, let's do. You probably move. Oh, yeah. Up. Uh, okay, cross pattern. Okay, I. I'm not dodging properly. <laughs> Well, I took a lot of damage, but it's okay, I had wood armor. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I don't know if I can get in here. Okay, I can. Awesome. We got into Dad's PC. This one is really useful. This portal right here. Because it is a small PC and in an area that we pretty much always have access to. Uh, wait, what? Hmm. Oh! Ooh. This is another air control enemy. Um. Yeah, they, uh, they do that. Come to think 
of it, it seems to me there's a lot of area control type electric enemies. Uh, well, this should finish you off. And 2,000! I wonder if that's enough to buy- no. No, it's, well, maybe after I'm done in this area it will be. I don't know. Something to think about. Uh, I said, oh. Ow. Okay. Ow! That was fast. Um... Okay, let's go with that. Area Steel. Oh, hey, that recovers the platform. I didn't even know that did that. I wonder if it does that in future battle networks. It might. Hmm. And now this goes to death. Ah, Internet Area 9. Uh, I don't want to actually be here, because I will seriously die. In fact, just having gone in there has set off my, oh no, I'm about to kill myself senses. You, we won't be going that way for a while. But that is just fine. Okay, um, now, if I remember right... Awesome! He's here! I wasn't sure if Stone Man would be here right now, or if I had to wait until later. But, turns out he's here, which is pretty much great. Oh, whoops. Okay, rock gone. Um, eh, water area is still worth having immediately. Area steel. Hmm. B B B. I got a rock dropped on my head, didn't I? Man, that was... that was poor of me. Oh well. Rockman is still... sorry, Stone Man is still really easy because he doesn't actually... Okay, I guess he... Navis can make him flinch, but... The threshold for him to flinch is much greater. Oh, that was close. Rut row. And you're dead. I win. And I got your battle chip. Which is an S code. Uh, I'm pretty sure this battle chip drops rocks. So, like the attack we using before. Which means the smaller the enemy area, the more damage it can potentially deal. Or the more targets you'll potentially hit. D depending on how you look at it. Um. Okay, so, out of my possible codes to get rid of, the most obvious one to get rid of to me is C. I only have four of these, and, whoops, and they're kind of bad. Okay, sort by code, so I have A's, B's, and C's, or sorry, and S's to work with right now. 
Hmm. I don't have Woodman yet, do I? That'd be great. But I guess it's not happening. Um, I'm not using Longsword? That seems... That seems like a poor choice on my part. In fact, uh... Let's, uh... Whoops. Let's do that. Um... Hmm. I haven't actually gotten rid of more C's, though. Okay. Well, I can put in a few more cannons. Getting a lot, getting a bunch more of these would be good, but that that'll take a while. That's for another day. Uh, ooh, let's go with fire sword. Range one. Mm -hmm. This might not actually be better, but let's do it anyway. And dash is okay. Mm, maybe another quake. Well, quake is slow, but what the hell. Okay, now that that's taken care of, we'll just finish over this area. It's not all that large, so not too much more to look at. Rock Cube. That summons the cube that Stone Man used against me that I blew up. Um, most of the time it's not very useful. It combos well with some chips, but not very many. Uh... So, one more thing I think that's probably worth repeating. Were this any other Battle Network game, I would want swords in addition to long swords and wide swords. Because the P program advance with sword, wide sword, and long sword is amazing. Just not in Battle Network 1. In Battle Network 1, it's like Zeta Sword, so it's the same thing as the cannon thing, only with a sword. Uh, and a regular sword at that. Which isn't all that good. But oh boy, the future of Battle Networks is just, is just great. I look forward to it, to the time when I'll be able to use it. Oops, that was close. Uh, that'll do. Ah! And we're at the end. I don't have the code for this one, unfortunately. Or so it would seem. I'm not sure where I get the code for this one, actually. Presume I would assume it would be in Scilab somewhere, but I can't think of anywhere it would be. In any case, uh, wait, no. How much, uh, I have enough to buy one more HP memory. Sure, I think I'll do that, then I'm gonna call it. Then we'll get back to plot, I guess. Oh hey, this is actually a good time to show off this thing. Behold, the power of Stone Man! Okay, so he drops three boulders each time, and each boulder does 100 damage, so if you have if you hit with if you hit three times, it deals 300 damage, and you can dramatically improve your odds of hitting multiple times by using the power that is area steel. So yeah, altogether, Stone Man is a pretty good battleship. Um, Okay, we got it. Definitely worth having. Although, hmm. I'm just thinking. I'm not sure how much it scales. I mean, in general, Navi chips tend not to scale very much in ter terms of their damage output. Um, let's go with that. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Wait, did I just miss? Man. 
Oh no, no, I hit it. Okay. Hmm. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I can't really recall how much chips tend to scale in general. Certainly not in this game. Um. I have a slightly better idea for Battle Network 3, if only because the circumstances of that are such that... You, wait, didn't I already pick this up? Are such that you sort of need to hit a certain damage threshold at the end of the game. Otherwise, you're literally screwed. Um, in any case, I think that'll do it for now. Until next time. Uh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> until next time. This is Beam. Let's play Mega Man Battle Network, and have a good day. Bye! Uh, whoops. Oh, shoot. Uh, hmm. That's a problem.